before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more videos from us, okay? Back control stuff again this week. So we're gonna give you a couple more options, okay? So last week we did the rear naked choke, we did the bow and arrow choke, okay? We're gonna refresh that a little bit uh, when we talk about the escapes in terms of the bow and arrow especially, all right? But I just wanted to have you guys uh, a couple other options. So I have again my back control, I'm using my feet, I'm really aware and making sure I'm using my legs a lot to, to control him and contain him, okay? Remember I like this hand over and I like to be a little mean about pushing my thumb knuckle into his sternum, right? Uh, everybody good? Everybody's okay with that, right? Yeah. So we're, we're here. Now, regardless, if I go underhook side, overhook side, this particular next move you can use from either position, okay? So I'm gonna rotate you this way so that, let's say we fall to the overhook side. Same thing we did last time where I control his hand, hide it, and I start going for the rear naked. Whether or not I have his hand trapped, it's, it's not, you know, uh, a lost cause if you if you don't get the hand control, okay? What I'm gonna try and do in this case is I wanna take this underhook side and I'm gonna punch his collar down so that I can feed this hand as deep as I can with that grip, all right? Makes sense so far. My other hand, the one that now I just handed this off, now I'm free to grab the other side of the collar, okay? This arm that's around his neck, I'm gonna try and back that elbow out of that pocket, out from underneath him. Everybody understand how that will work? So I'm trying to take all the slack out from behind his neck here, okay? So I hand this off as deep as possible. Here's another little trick for you. Sometimes I, leave, I let him keep that hand and he's gonna try and do stuff like this, right? And he'll pull it open. He'll pull it open to try and rip my grip off. When he pulls it open, I just use that to slide deeper. Okay, pull it open, go ahead. Urgh, thank you, sir. Okay, and now from under him, I don't have to leave, I don't take this one out. I don't have to have both over in this case. I leave it under and I grab across. And now I'm trying, this hand that's under his arm goes straight down, okay? This way. This one backs out, okay? Got it? So even if we're sitting up, over under as deep as I can get here if he does that I can go deeper grab anywhere down here I'm just taking the slack out okay doesn't have to be really high here pull this one down and this one backward everybody understand that now here's another cool little trick let's say we get to this side and he starts escaping and maybe I'm not so good at the bow and arrow or I missed the bow and arrow Right? He's like hanging on to this lapel and I can't get it, right? So I get up and I still have this position and I really want that bow and arrow, but I can't get it. Okay, here's what I can do. Take this hand, put it behind his head. And I, this hand I put under behind his head, I put those four fingers inside my own lapel, inside my own gi rather, my sleeve. Okay, here, hand in the sleeve. <laughs> and now I put, <laughs> into here, okay? So this is, this is what's called an Ezekiel, but it's from the back, okay? So if you'll notice, this part of my forearm goes on this carotid, okay, this one, and I have a leverage point here. So that one's on that carotid. This one I'm looking to push on this carotid, not just on any part of his muscle here. I wanna go in front of that muscle, okay? And not on the trachea, but in this empty triangle that you'll feel and see right there, okay? So that's where I'm going. Now, I can do this open-handed, I can do fist, I can really like shake it up to make sure that he lets me get in there, okay? And now, one last little tip. You'll, you'll realize once I get here, I need to lift this elbow that's under here. I put this here, this is not enough. I have to lift my left elbow now. Everybody got that? Yep. <laughs> it's on the same day I show the attack. Because then you're like, well then why would I use that move? But to be honest, see what he's doing? To be honest, there's pretty much a defense for most everything, okay? Because everything takes multiple steps to build, so you just undo all those steps. So he has this position. We fall to this, to this side. I sit on his leg. He kicks me off that leg. Oh, and he gets up. He steps back over. Now, let's turn this way so you've got a good view. 
okay? Chance. This is his chance. Now, let's let's talk a couple things. If he grabs my pants instead of my knee here, okay, I'm gonna try and kick and turn, okay? So that I have a chance to get back on my back and get away from him, okay? Especially if I can get that before he steps over. Now, let's say he gets all the way under here. Here's my best bet. Reach up, grab this sleeve, pull down this way. Reach behind, grab the elbow or anything I can get and hide this bottom ear. Now, he's choking this side. My right side is not being choked, okay? Pull, go. Everybody see what, how that works? So, if I ever yell at you, hide your ear, I'm talking about this one. I want this ear hidden inside his forearm. Okay, here. Now he's pulling, pulling, only one side is really getting pressure. Okay, and now I come and turn. And now, I mean he still has mount, it's still bad for me, but it's bad minus. Okay, or bad plus, whichever way you want. Lesser bad. Yeah, good. Let's try those three things. One, two, three.